Earlier this year, Austin home sellers were receiving 10, 20, 50 plus offers within hours of putting their homes on the market. There were literally lines of people outside homes in certain neighborhoods. It was an ultra strong seller's market that Austin has never seen or experienced. If you're looking to buy a home in Austin or any surrounding area, odds are you're gonna be going up against multiple offers. The only price points that are not seeing multiple offers are in the ultra, ultra luxury market. While the Austin market has slowed down, we are still in a very strong seller's market. So if you're on the hunt for your forever home in 2022, you need to do everything in your power to stand out from the crowd. So how can you do this? How can you stand out to the seller in a multiple offer situation? I'm Nick Garcia, your favorite Austin realtor. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a few tips for winning in a multiple offer situation in Austin, Texas, or anywhere that you are watching this video. Submitting a winning offer used to be pretty simple. Simple tips like having your buyer pre-approved for a mortgage prior to going to homes, putting their best foot forward with a simple fair market price, uh, having a good solid escrow and option deposit, and short contingency periods used to get the job done but those simple tips are no longer enough. So it's important to stand out if you plan on buying a home, especially in Austin or in any surrounding areas. So here are a few tips for winning in a multiple offer situation. You wanna do everything in your power to see the property in person. There are a lot of buyers who are tired of looking at properties, tired of submitting offers, tired of losing out to other buyers. So their solution is to submit an offer sight unseen. And if the seller accepts their offer, then they'll look at the property to see if it works for them. This is not a great strategy. Sellers want to know that you have a vested interest in their property, looked at it and fell in love with it. They, want, they don't want to wonder if you're going to back out of the purchase once you view the property. Now, if you're set on purchasing a property without seeing, you wanna make sure that you have an agent you can trust and will help, will help you do the due diligence that you need to do during that option period of buying a home. Next tip, you wanna be prepared, rain or shine, to view new listings as quickly as you can. A lot of homes now are flying off the market within hours of being listed. So it's important you, you view new listings as soon as possible because that's what your competition is doing. They aren't waiting until the weekend at a time that's convenient for them. Motivated buyers will drop what they're doing and go see the property ASAP. If for some reason your real estate agent isn't available to show you a new listing immediately due to schedule conflicts or whatever they might be doing, they need to make arrangements for another agent to show it to you. At no point should you be the one calling other agents trying to find one to let you in. And if you do end up doing that, you really should consider finding another agent who is committed to your home purchase. With that being said, you need to be committed to one agent, otherwise you will continue spinning your wheels. This next tip for winning in a multiple offer situation is extremely important. Do not drag your feet when it comes to submitting an offer. Sellers who anticipate multiple offers will have a deadline for buyers to submit their highest and best offer. When these types of deadlines are set forth, some buyers will hold off on viewing the property or submitting an offer right away because they have time. This is a huge mistake in a multiple offer situation. Sure, the seller or the listing agent might have agreed that they would wait, but it doesn't mean that they will. It's not uncommon for sellers to receive an offer they cannot pass up. So they accept it on the spot, regardless of any deadline they've set. This is one of the many reasons why it's important to submit a strong offer right away if you're interested in the property. Once again, sellers are looking for motivated buyers who love their home. Your agent should understand current market conditions and advise you on the speed from list to pending to close. In some areas of Austin, a listing will hit the market on Thursday and the highest and best offer will be requested by Sunday at 5 p.m. Submit a strong offer early and if you really want the home, then be prepared to negotiate and get into a bidding war. Which brings me right into the next tip. Submit your highest and best offer right away. If multiple offers are commonplace in your price range, you need to submit your highest and best offer from the start. Never assume or expect the seller to counter your starting offer because most of the time they won't. A majority of sellers have so many strong offers to choose from, there is no need for them to counter your starting offer. Instead, they'll move your offer to the bottom of the pile or reject it completely. In saying that, you need to submit your highest and best offer with the best terms right out of the gate. Not just the highest price, 
the strongest terms as well. This means the highest escrow, minimal or no contingencies, the sh or, or very short contingency periods, and a closed date that works for the seller. Know how quickly your lender can have the appraisal completed and provide loan commitment. Also, connect with a home inspector ahead of time and see if they'll let you schedule an inspection even before an offer has been accepted. In a seller's market, unless you put down a lot of option money, a seller will be hard pressed to go beyond a seven day option period. When a seller has multiple offers in hand, their decision can easily come down to days. So it's important to know your time frames ahead of time. You never want to underestimate or overestimate contingency periods. Lastly, most listing agents are not allowing buyers to compete or bid against each other since they could be violating TREC rules. You are not allowed to make a house buying similar to having an auction. So it's important to put all your cards on the table right out of the get-go. Next tip for waiting in a multiple offer situation is to waive the appraisal contingency. One of the strategies that's working really well right now is to, is to waive any appraisal contingencies. Basically, unless you're paying for your uh, new property or house in all cash, your lender will perform an appraisal to ensure the home you want to buy is worth the loan amount. Low appraisals can be a huge deal killer since you, the buyer, will have to come up with the extra cash if the appraisal comes in low. So when you waive the appraisal contingency, you're giving the seller peace of mind that the deal won't fall through. Now you can either completely waive the appraisal contingency or partially waive it. For example, if you have an extra $20,000 cash on top of the down payment, you can tell the seller you will cover up to $20,000 on a low appraisal. A good agent will guide you on what houses are selling for and also call other houses that have closed to see if there were any appraisal issues. Back when Austin was going through a period of a, a strong seller's market into an ultra strong seller's market, it took 60 to 90 days for some of these uh, closed prices to catch up to the appraisals. Right now, we are seeing waived appraisals, but we're not seeing that many appraisal issues. Next tip, you wanna work with an aggressive agent. Working with an agent who is aggressive and has great communication skills can get you one step closer to your dream home. I have noticed agents who flat out ask, what does my client need to do to get this house? Are oftentimes the agents who win in a multiple offer situation. That's one of my favorite questions, by the way. There's nothing wrong with trying to find out what terms a seller is looking for. Worst case scenario, the listing agent ignores the question and you're in the same boat you started in. However, there are sellers who will just say, I want at least $20,000 in escrow, a five day option period, close in 30 days, and I want a free 30 day seller lease back. If you're able to meet these terms, you could be one step closer to winning in a multiple offer situation. Remember, the answer is always no if you don't ask. It's very important that you are available and proactive throughout your home buying purchase. When buying a home in Austin, act like your spouse or best friend is nine months pregnant. Be available and prepared day or night. Be available to look at new listings immediately. Be available and proactive when submitting an offer. Be available to answer your phone in case the seller has a question about your offer or wants to know if you can make a change. Be ready and available to sign or update documents. Once again, sellers and listing agents like working with motivated buyers and attentive buyer's agents. This next tip is an often overlooked one. Have your lender call the listing agent. Due to the historic low interest rates, countless buyers are obtaining financing, even if they have the cash, which means a loan officer will be involved in your transaction. This in turn adds more time variable to whether or not your offer will be accepted. Believe it or not, the lender you've selected can be a deciding factor for many sellers. While some listing agents will in fact contact your lender, others will base their decision on your pre-approval letter. Either way, have your lender call the listing agent directly. This can go a long way in a multiple offer situation. It shows your lender is proactive. They can instill confidence in the listing, to the listing agent about your qualifications and any, answer any questions they might have. In addition to having a proactive lender, sometimes who the lender is and where they're located will matter a lot to the seller as well. When a seller has two similar offers in hand, one buyer is using an, the agent's preferred or a local lender, the other is using an online quick and loans type of uh, lender, the majority of time they're going to go with the local lender. In addition to using these tips, it's important to work with the best of the best when it comes to a real estate agent. 
And if you're ready to jump into the Austin real estate market, I will help you get the house of your dreams, even in a multiple offer situation. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to have a great day.